Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another software highlight with Down to Earth Astronomy. Today I want to show you um, the website for the SOHO mission. Um, it's the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite uh, places when you can go and look at uh, actually real astronomy data. Um, you can download them for free. Um, uh, so just thought I would give you guys a highlight um, if you are a solar nerd just like me. Um, I'll put the link in the description, but you can see it up here. It's sohovvv.nasa.com.nasa.gov. Uh, anyway, I'll put it in the description. Um, and this is the front page. And the interesting part is if you go into data and archive, in here you can see we can search for real, uh, near real-time image and movies. So we go here click here, we get this search tool. Um, and what we can do here is we can simply search the database um, for images from this uh, satellite that is currently orbiting in a Lagrange point, taking uh, constant images of the sun. For instance, um, if we wanted the last, say, last 10 images, um, and we wanted a, uh, we, maybe we want a 171 angstrom image of the sun and we want them compressed into a movie. We simply make a search, and there you are. It begins to download, and you can see the, um, the images of, of the sun. And these images are actually uh, pretty recent. Some of them are for the last couple of days. So, and again, we can go, go back if we want um, another wavelength. We could go for the, let's say, 284. And again, we get uh, get a small um, small series of images. Of course, you can download more images if you want. Um, the site oh, let's just keep the ten here. This uh, site also allows you to search for, for instance, continuum data. Um, this is instead of uh, just relying on a single wavelength as you do in these images up here. Continuum, you go for the full spectrum of the sun, um, and this is used for uh, locating. Um, sunspots. So if we load the last 10, we can see we have um, a pair of sunspots here, close to uh, the center of the disk. Um, if you want to go out sunspotting yourself, if you have a telescope, this can be a good idea just to go in, download uh, the latest image, just to see if there is actually any sunspots. Um, you can also get a magnetogram. These are one of my uh, absolute favorite kind of images of the sun. Um, and what these images so show is the strength of the magnetic field towards the satellite. So this is just the line of sight flux of, uh, of the magnetic field. Um, and you can use these to, uh, to actually compute the full uh, magnetic field of the sun. Uh, I think this is uh, very, very cool. I um, really love these images. Um, another cool thing you can do is this um, LASCO C2 or C3 images. These are used for um, showing the uh, the atmosphere around the sun, for instance, if we just load this up, we can see the last ten images of um, the atmosphere and the corona around the sun. Um, the white circle here represents the actual size of the sun, just to give you guys an idea of how um, how large the sun is compared to uh, to the corona around it, and these show some of the features um, in the corona. We can go to the C3 version, where we show, where, which shows the the higher layers of the of the corona. Um, and you can begin to look up different uh, different events, and we could uh, could search for them. For instance, um, the comet Ison, which passed um, close to the sun back in 2013, we could uh, search for that, see if we can find it. So that happened on in 2000, and you see, I've already searched for it here. 2013, 11th, uh, uh, that would be November um, 28th, so I'm searching for the day before until the day after. Um, and if we search for, let's start with the high, um, high atmosphere search with the C3 images. Let's see if we can find them. Here we go. And what we should be able to see as it's, uh, it's downloading here, Oh, hold on, I need to delete that, sorry, that was the wrong images. Here we go. So we can see here a small flare just gone off, and we can begin to see the comet Ison um, approaching 
the sun from out here. Um, and as it slowly gets, we see another flare up here. This line here, um, the dark line, this is uh, probably, I think it's the, um, it's, <laughs> it's the arm holding this disc in front of the sun. So they actually put a physical disc in front of the sun to cover it up, to not enable not to uh, over-exaggerate that part of the, of the chip. That's just uh, the metal arm hold, holding this disc in place. And we can see the comet now passing behind the disc, and the remnants of the comet is, uh, is exiting over here. Um, again, a very neat build tool. Um, we can do the same search just for the, the closer images if we want a, a more close-up of what, I, what actually happened. And again, if you're interested in astronomy um, and in the sun, wanna, wanna you can look up some, uh, some of the biggest flares uh, in history. You can search for, the, for them if you want to see them uh, personally. Or um, if there's been a warning for, for northern light, you have uh, the opportunity to go in here and actually have a, have a look at the, at the actual flare. Um, so again, if you're interested in the, in the sun, this is a, a very neat homepage. Um, again, here we see the comet moving in close to the sun. Um, most of the comet evaporated, and the leftovers is leaving over here afterwards. Again, very cool site. Um, I spent hours on here just uh, looking up different, uh, different flares. Um, I hope you liked it. Remember to, uh, to comment and subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like. This is Down to Earth Astronomy. Um, until next time, have a good one.